This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what is really good, my dudes? Welcome to another episode of Stats on Get. So I'm right here in front of Pyramid Plunder because I'm trying to do the Pyramid Plunder achievement. If we go right here to the achievement section, why does this thing keep going to the top left corner? Let me know if this happens to you all the time. It's really annoying, and it's been ages since they fixed it. It never used to do this, and then an update came out, and it fucked it all up. But let me know if this stupid tab keeps going to the top left like it does for me, for you. Anyways, we're gonna do this careful. There are snakes. Loot 20 urns in a single run in the Pyramid Plunder without disturbing a snake. So hopefully, in order to get that in one go and I don't fuck it up, I got the Master Camouflage outfit with a uh, comp cape for that uh, Ardone cape boost. And I'm gonna activate some Crystal Mask. I don't know if any of these do not have any effect on the urns whatsoever. I do not know, but hopefully they all do and they're all gonna mean that I can get this one go. Let me know if any of these don't do shit for these uh, urns. And let me know how stupid I am for <laughs> using them. <laughs> So I should only, I'm just going to do the first two rooms because why would I bother with anything else to be quite honest. And so this is the first room. I don't know how much this is, but we'll pop a crystal mask real quick. Got it. Okay. And I already got bit. Wow. I only have the bottom of, it says, uh, I've only gotten one. Oh, I just got bit. That's fucked up. Hopefully I can do this and not get fucked up. I wonder if I search snakes, check for snakes. Maybe that'll do it. I just check for snakes. All right, I should be coming up on my final two. So this one, and then I should have one more and hopefully, yeah, I've been checking snakes every time and haven't been getting caught. So if you want to ensure that you get it, I would check the snakes first and there it is. Uh, careful, there are snakes. Nice little achievement to top off the episode and kick it off. Let's go. All right. So for this next clip, I killed hard mode nomad. I didn't do any uh, live commentary while I was killing it because I wanted to make sure I did it right. And I got it down. This is the first time I actually ever killed him. And I wanted to get that achievement out of the way. Plus, I just wanted to kill him for the first time and see how good I did. And... I did pretty dang good. At the very end, you see at the very... When I loot the chest, actually, I get the blood cape on my very first try. You can see that I earned every single cape. As soon as I enter the or open the chest, I get every single cape up to blood. So you know that like that's my very first time doing it. And I was pretty impressed. I did like 7.5 minutes or 7 minutes 23 seconds on my first try. I think I can go for the golden. I know that they now have the golden one for 6 minutes. That wasn't on launch. But now it's there. So it might be something I might want to strive for. Just to see if I could do it. I did during P3. Got the wrong, um, what do you call it? The clone. Killed the wrong clone. So if you kill the right clone on P3, that saves you a lot of time. And unfortunately, I got the wrong one, but it was my first kill. I wasn't expecting anything major. And the fact that I even got in the first place is awesome and really cool to hear. And yeah, I was able to kill Nomad hard mode on my own. <laughs> and I'm pretty proud of it. Got the blood cape. It looks cool. And yeah, let me know if you guys got it. I think it's a really sick cape. Might add this to my weekly D&Ds because it's a pretty fun fight and keeps you on your toes. Alright, so the time of this recording, guys, it's actually just a couple of hours before Double XP Weekend, so I'm sure next clip you'll see I'll be already cranking out that Double XP Weekend gains, and I, honestly, I didn't really have much prepared for Double XP Weekend, I didn't really expect to really do much, all these Double XP Weekends, now that I'm all maxed, been maxed for a while, don't really have the kind of like oomph that they used to, especially since 
even before this, I've had 120 Slayer for a long time now. So if anything, that would be what most compers or semi-compers because of 120 Slayer will probably be going for. I might do some Slayer as I currently am 187 mil. So only 13 mil more to go to 200 mil. I'm really slowly getting there. All I do is Reapers. I barely do Slayer nowadays. I really in no rush to get it done because I really love Slayer. So when I get 200 mil, it's like I can't really keep doing it no more because I'm kind of done. So I don't know. I think part of me is that's why I'm holding off on it. But anyways, the purpose of this part of the video, I'm just going to show you what my plans are. I don't have a lot of big plans. I just want to get one important thing done and the rest I can just do whatever the fuck I want to do. But what I want to do here, go to my bank real quick. This is my herb lore tabs kind of all fucking messy but whatever who cares so i got like 1.3k of each three doses which i'm going to make to extremes because that's about how much i need to then convert into three dose overloads and then once these are extremes they, yeah like i said it'll become overloads i got my 1.3 torstals and that means that i'll be able to i got over here the four doses about 1k each i mean so it's all kind of fucking silly numbers but about 1k of those after like calculating it and i decant the three doses into four doses that should leave me with 1k overloads to make into supreme overloads and i do have like 141 of these fours these are just from a rack sore after converting the what do you call them the flasks into vials this is all from a rack sore but that's you know really going to help add to the count at the end on top of that, I do have 1k prayer pots and prayer renewal. So I'll make the super prayer renewal combo potion as well. And I do have 1k restores and still got like 5k dren pots. So I will be making replenishment potions. So 1k replenishment, 1k super renewal, and 1k supreme overload is my overall goal for day one of herb lore. Once I get out of the way, I really am free to do whatever I want. Probably a little bit of slayer. I do want to try to get a little bit of hunter done. I might try out those skill champas, those crystal skill champas, if they're not too packed. If not, I can do some turtles on my island, and that's always, you know, no one's going to be there, obviously. So I'll always be able to do that. If I don't get too bored of Hunter, I know the XP gains are going to be, like, phenomenal. So even though it's kind of uh, monotonous and tedious and etc., it's the XP gains are going to be phenomenal. So I think that'll motivate me to stay there. If not, like I said, fall back on Slayer or... I don't know. I could do a number of other things. But yeah, that's primarily I just want to get those 1k potions out of the way. And if I get that out of the way, which I will do on the first day, I know for sure. Then to me, at least, it'll be all be worth it. I really don't care what happens the rest of the double XP weekend. Let me know what you guys are doing for yours or what you did for yours. Because by the time this comes out, it would have already had been at double XP weekend. So let me know what you guys did. All right, guys. So double XP weekend just kicked off. I don't know how long I'm going to be staying on, to be quite honest, because it is 2 a.m. where I am in the morning, so probably not going to stay on very long, but I do want to get some herb lore out of the way. Well, I even still have some energy left, and then when I wake up in the morning, hopefully I'll have my good portion of it done, I guess. But yeah, we kicked it off, started making these extreme attacks, and yeah, it's going to be good, man. I'm about to gain an herb lore level already. Oh my god. Maybe like an inventory and a half more, maybe. I don't know. But I just kind of just started. I'm like halfway through my attack potions. And I didn't realize I was that close to a level. So that's actually kind of cool. How much we got? Yeah, one more inventory after this one. And we will have the herb lore level, which will be uh, 108 herb lore. The gains are already popping off, and I just started double XP weekend. Awesome. And here we go with the level, yes. Right. Damn. Level up, and that is 108 Herblar. Awesome. This is the longest fucking small dungeon. Like, Why do people with 3 billion XP still do double XP weekend? I understand they want max still. That's exactly would, what it is. I would not want to do it. I had Why do people that get pussy still get pussy? You know what I mean? This is all good, babe. Well, 109 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you know. I'm working on my extremes at this point at the Melior Hour, because or it's Melior Hour, so I'm in the Melior District making my combination potions. The Supremes. I missed, uh, wasn't paying attention because I AFK, but I did get 110 Herb Lore since you last seen me. But yeah, just here at Millier Hour, and one cool thing over here, I found a Seto Sorcerer, which is actually 
if you don't know, he's an OG uh, RS YouTuber from way back in the day. So it was actually kind of interesting to run into him, of all people. So yeah, just doing this while, I guess, chilling with this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Alright, so I finished up all my potions, which should keep me occupied for a really long time. Definitely up until, at the very least, next double XP weekend, which I, when I will make more potions, more than likely. But I do have 1.3k Supreme Overloads, almost 1.5k Super Perinals, and 1.2k Replenishment Potions. So plenty of PVM to do with that. Now, I believe I'm going to be doing my Slayer task... And then I might go do some Hunter at some Uncharted Isles and try to get gains there. So right now I got a Soul Devourer task, so I'm going to be doing that. I didn't realize how much footage I actually ended up having, but we're actually going to close out the episode right here. So next episode we'll come back to some of my Slayer gains and some of my Hunter gains from Double XP Weekend. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully there was a lot of enjoyable stuff in this episode. Stay tuned for more. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.